artists, it's Miss Winter again. Um, I'm standing here by my front door to show you a second idea um, for a heart that you can create for your heart walk. So this is a pointillism heart and we're gonna learn about pointillism when the lesson begins. But I, while I'm out here at the front door, I wanted to point something out to you. So this is in lieu of the art show. So obviously the art show is not happening this year, but this is. So this is a time for you guys to really shine, to put your all into your work, to be really proud of the heart that you display in front of your house. So you'll notice that I actually framed mine. It's a very simple technique. I just glued black paper behind my picture and it gives it that frame. It gives it that finished art show look. So that's the sort of level we're looking for. You have two weeks, two whole weeks to work on your heart. So I can't wait to see them. I can't wait for you guys to be proud of your work and display them nicely in front. So take a short look at this um, little video. It's gonna show you some famous artists who actually were the pioneers of pointillism. So take a look at their work and then we'll talk more about pointillism and how to do the project when we get inside. So see you there. that I'm going to show you today is called pointillism. So pointillism was actually invented by two very famous artists called Georges Seurat and Paul Signat. No, it's not Signat, it's Signac. Okay, my French accent is not so good, but Georges Seurat and Paul Signac uh, lived in Paris in the mid 1800s and they developed this new sort of scientific approach to painting where instead of painting with various colors, they would very precisely and scientifically use dots of colors that when sort of, when the dots are together and you look at the painting from a distance, the colors blend together. Your eye plays a trick on you and the colors blend together to form secondary colors. So for example, for this project, we're gonna be using the three primary colors. Now, what are they? You guys all know, it's red, yellow, and blue. So what would happen if I put some red dots next to some blue dots on my paper? Well, what we hope is when you look at the painting from far away, it will actually look like purple to your eye. So if you squint your eyes a little bit and look at this project when you're done from far away, you'll actually see that the pointillism, the various points of color blend together to form green and to form purple inside your heart. So that's what we're going for today. So. The first step is to find a very large piece of paper like we discussed in the previous video. Again, I only have my printer paper at home with me. I don't have any big art paper with me. So what I could do is simply tape four pieces of paper together. Oh, typical, I only have three, but you get the idea. Tape four pieces of together, together like this. I did this for this heart to form one giant piece of paper. So. Here we go. So pretend, as we did before, that this is a giant piece of paper. The first step is, is to outline the shape of a heart in pencil. I want to use pencil because in the end, I don't want the line to show. I want this to be hidden by dots. So I'm going to use a pencil. Maybe difficult for you guys to see, but squint your eyes and hopefully you can see it. So again, to draw a heart, a very simple way is to draw a V. And then continue with an M like this. And now you have a heart shape drawn out. Okay, so for this project, we're gonna need, as I said, three primary colors. So we need blue. So I'm just gonna dip some blue paint on here. I mean, pour some blue paint on here. Red. And yellow. Okay, to create our points for our pointillism painting, we're gonna use a Q-tip. So find a Q-tip and let's get started. The first step is blue, because my entire page is going to be covered with blue dots. So 
let's get started. I want you to watch how careful I am as I create my dots. Notice I am not swiping, I am not coloring with my Q-tip, I am simply creating dots. Oh, that's not a very good dot. Oh, there is that one. That's okay, I can make it slightly bigger. We just want to cover our entire page with blue dots. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up and keep working. Maybe put on some music for you guys to enjoy. And let's go. So next, what I'm going to do is I am going to use a different color for the inside of my heart. So what color do we get, guys, if I mix blue and red together? What do we get? Yes, we get purple, that's right. So now what I'm gonna do is dip my Q-tip in the red paint, and on the inside of my heart, I can still, still sort of see my pencil line, on the inside of my heart, in all of the white spaces beside the blue dots, I'm going to fill it in with red. All right, here we go.
So now I have completed all of my red dots. So my goal is when I look at this from a distance, the blue and the red dots will blend together in my eyes and I'm gonna see a purple heart. So that is the goal of this. So for the outside, what color can we use to mix with blue to form green? That's right, yellow. So now what I'm simply going to do is repeat the process for inside my heart on the outside and all of the white spaces are now going to get yellow dots.